and RAS. RAG is the greed factor of the children's what you are having so you are having some n children's let's say these are n children's and for every corresponding children you have a greed factor what that greed factor means that the greed factor means that he can accept a cookie which is at least of his greed factor which means if he has a greed factor of three and i have a cookie array this s array is a cookie array this cookie array say okay i have a cookie array uh, let's say the cookie is size is the cookie size one so a person or a child with a greed factor of 2 will accept at least a cookie of size 2. A person of size, a person of greed factor, basically a child of greed factor 3 will accept a cookie of a size at least 3. That is what we are referring. So basically we are saying that a child of a greed factor, like IA greed factor, should accept more the size of his cookie at least, like equal or more size of his cookie. So this is what we need to have and we want to maximize the number of content children output which means just maximizing the assignment of cookie to children. We want maximum assignment for this to happen. So if you look at the example what we will see that one of this child will get one of this cookie and that's it that's the only thing. 2 and 3 need at least 2 and 3 as the cookie size which is not available so it will not work so answer is one here in this case one you will see it can assign let's say to two and two can assign let's say to three so basically the the, the, the cookie of size three can be assigned to a child of two or we can also just say that a, a child uh, with a greed one can be assigned with a cookie of one and a child with a greed two can be assigned the cookie of two that's also a valid case and thus the maximum number of assignment can be two answer is two so very obvious thing which comes in our mind is bhaiya uh, what i will do is um, i'll just start from the very beginning of this and maybe what i can do is i can try to check for this specific child if he can get some cookie or not so what i'll do is in this example itself we saw that and it should work bhaiya right that for this child i'll go and check for in my s array and i'll go and check okay if he can assign yeah he can get a cookie of his size of his size he can get a cookie which means of his size or less he, he can get the cookie so he will be happy and i'll say okay my answer is increased by one then i'll go on to my next child then i'll go on to the next person from the like from the person who is not has like from the cookies which are not yet taken i'll take the next cookie which is possible so with this maybe i can work out because i just wanted my children to get cookies so i'm just concerned about that only will this work maybe maybe not let's see uh, with a simple example that for this child 2 of a grade 2 he will firstly go to 4 yeah 4 is a cookie of big size so what he will do is child 2 will take the 4 cookie okay answer is increased by 1 then you will go on to the next child 4 greed then he only has a remaining cookie of size 3 which he cannot take okay that is not taken so it will just move on then okay my all the children's are ended and all the cookies are also ended so answer you will return as as a 1 is the one the answer no why because the best optimal solution would have been that if you had assigned the child 2 with a greed of 3 and a child 4 with a greed of 4 because that can be assigned so answer would have been two and we want to maximize the output so one thing we got to know yeah we can assign the children's we can assign all that stuff but before that it is very good that the child having the smaller greed should be assigned a smaller cookie size we try the child for the smaller greed should be assigned a smaller cookie size and the child with a bigger greed should be remaining with a bigger greed bigger cookie size so what i did was i planned okay for a small child which means a child having a smaller greed i will try to assign him with the smaller of this cookie size value why is that the case so that in future going forward whosoever child is remaining for sure the child with a bigger greed will be remaining he should be availing or basically he should be having an option to avail the bigger cookie size so i will simply sort my children's with the greed values i will sort my cookies with their sizes and then i can try assigning i'll try assign my child 2 with the like child 2 having a greed of 2 uh, with the cookie of 3 which is possible then i'll try to assign my 4 with this 4
which means a child with a greed four with a cookie of four and that's how when your g of i let's say here's the i pointer here's the j pointer and for sure uh, why we have using pointers because we want to assign one cookie to one person so as this is assigned my pointer should move ahead and try for the next combination that's it so it's the reason if we have i and j as is it so we can just assign it else we'll just move on now move on for what let's say move on for what let's say if this would have not have been the case if this would have been a one so what you could have done is will you still move your i still move your j no you will still only move your j why because for sure you'll see i want to maximize the number of children and cookie combination that's it and I'm, I'm not saying i should be getting the maximum combination having the maximum greed value it's, it's, it's not required i just wanted to maximize the number of combinations so a smaller greed value higher cookie number will still form a combination which i mean by that is if this if this specific four and this four is forming a combination then a smaller value of g of i a smaller value of g of i which means a smaller value of g of i let's say i dash is this i dash is this and this is i a smaller value of g of i will always form or basically always at least if this is forming a combination then this will always form a combination and we want to maximize the number of combinations so what i'll do is i will try for this specific i to combine with the next j so if i cannot form a combination i will just simply move my j and not my i okay cool uh, let's see the example statement itself uh, simply try running a few example and then lastly we'll see our own example which we will make so as to cover all the cases so here you will see that i firstly sorted my s and g although it's already sorted so you might not notice that but yeah we firstly have to sort it and then start comparing small values of greed to a small cookie sizes now it is i it is j yeah it's less it's valid okay move both i and j move both i and j i is moved and my j is moved again so when i and j are moved you will see that greed size is two but cookie size is one so that is not valid so simply simply in this case you will only move your j you will try for a more cookie size for this small child you not move your i because for sure as my this cookie size is sorted so incoming will be a bigger size so i'll simply move my j oh moving my j reach to my end oh as soon as you reach to end which is which is meaning that okay i have no cookie s at all simply end answer is just a one if i go to the next example in the question itself uh, it says i and j again it's valid okay increase the answer by one now i and j Again, it's valid. Both increase the answer by one. Again, as soon as both are valid, simply increase both of them. I has reached the end, which means all the children itself are finished. Okay, no more children. Simply end. Answer is two. Now for the custom example which we have made. Again, to just to show you all the above cases which we have seen. Firstly, it is not required that they are sorted. So firstly, we will simply sort them down so as to assign smaller, smaller greed value children with a smaller book size. Now, when this portion is done, I'll start assigning. I'll have my I, I'll have my J. I'll simply start off. Okay, this S of I, if this is less than or equal to my S of J, oh, oh, it is not. Oh, it is not. Okay, that's that's okay. That's completely fine. It's just that simply move your J. Simply move your J why not i i have already covered that is just that i want maximum number of combinations or basically maximum number of children to cookie pair and lesser the greed value and more the cookie like like lesser the lesser the greed value it is more chances to make him as a pair so i simply move my j uh, forward and my i is still here itself okay great uh now bhaiya what if i would have moved my uh i also i'll show you what would have happened but yeah meanwhile let's see that you moved your j only so i is two which means the greed, greed value is two cookie size is three so for sure i can take it which means g of i is less than equal to my s of j i can take it and when i say i'll take it here you saw when i cannot take it i simply increase my j only when i take it i'll first increase my answer i'll increase my i also because th th 
happen that specific child is taken and for sure cookies i'm always going on in the forward direction now my i is here my j is also here this is also a valid pair which i can take same operation i will apply in this also answer has been increased to two and then it has reached to i uh, this has reached to n no possible thing because cookies has ended so i'll simply it's the end of the answer which means any of i or j's reaches to the end i can simply return now bhaiya what if i would have taken uh, i would have moved my i also okay so you if you would have moved your i also which means your i would have here now it is three it is three yeah it's valid bhaiya bhaiya it's 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 valid then if it's valid you will move your i and j again now eight and four is not valid okay if it's not valid you will simply move your i and j again so if you saw answer would have been one but 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 answer could have been two if i had made this pair and this pair and this pair answer would have been two that's the reason if it's not valid simply move your j not i because i want the grid value to be as minimum so that i can pair him with some of the cookie size cool now code is as simple as that firstly i sorted both my children grid value and the cookie sizes now when this is done this i is itself to point to my child which is the grid value which is g for my i and to point it to s which is the cookie sizes i have my j now i simply move on to all the cookie sizes because i know that i at every iteration as you will see at every iteration j uh, now my j was here so in every iteration my j is moving one forward direction so i just used simple this loop that my j is always moving which means in my cookie sizes i am always moving one step ahead so i just got this and then i'll just compare if my g of i is less than equal to my s of j then simply increase the answer and increase the i itself as you saw that g is all j the, the 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 value j will always 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 increase so i just took it inside the loop that okay it will always 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 increase for the ie value for the i value i know it will only increase when the s of oh sorry when the g of i is less than equal to my s of j and also just a quick condition that i should not get a runtime exception that i should be less than equal to my g dot size if yeah, if that's the case simply increase the answer and increase the i also and that's the entire for loop which you need to have for this question and ultimately return the answer time again o of n log n plus m log m because you're sorting both g and n sorry g and s array which you have and also space in c plus one java is log m plus log n because of the sorting and also in python it will be o of m plus n because python uses more space cool that's uh, pretty much thank you for watching bye bye bye